Hi, I'm Kale Thomas. I'm a makeup artist with 15 years of experience in the film industry. Today, we're gonna to be doing a scar. As you can see, he already has a bruised eye and a uh, cut lip, which you can find also on the site as well. But we're gonna be doing a scar across his forehead. A few things that you're gonna need is liquid latex, a cotton ball, some makeup, and a sponge, and I use a hair dryer but that's optional. Liquid latex you can find online, but you can also find it at carpet supply houses. They use it to seam up carpet. So if you don't have access to maybe the internet or a specialty store that would carry liquid latex, uh, you can find it there. Also balloon rubber will work as well. So we're gonna start with the liquid latex. And uh, I use a plate, but you can also just use a regular CD to mix the material on top of. So you're just going to apply a little bit of liquid latex onto this, to the CD cover. And then you're going to use a latex sponge and you're going to apply liquid latex to the forehead. So we're going to be doing like a scar across his forehead, pretty old scar. And then with the cotton that I have here, I'm going to saturate it on the palette with the latex itself. What you're doing is you're just embedding the cotton with the latex. So when you put it on the forehead, it sticks. So what I'm gonna do is just shape it into a scar and place it directly on the forehead. And you can, use, you can always just pull like so. So you generally have the shape of a raised keloid scar on the forehead. And just with a little more liquid latex, you're gonna to wanna to go with your texture sponge or your sponge and go over the top of it to seal it in. What you're gonna to wanna to do is just keep adding latex to it and build it up and encapsulate the cotton into the piece itself. This is a really good trick for fake skin as well, or rotten skin. Now you're just gonna take a hair dryer on low and just dry it. Now that the uh, latex is dried, what you're gonna wanna do is add just a little foundation over the top of it, just to create more of a natural skin tone. Some scars are lighter on the top and darker in the crevices. So what you're gonna wanna do is take a lighter tone, which you can find in those color wheels, and just kind of dry brush the top. And when I say dry brushes, I wanna make sure that there's barely any material on the brush itself. So when you dip your brush into the foundation, you're gonna to wanna to take it to the back of your hand and almost get all the material off of it. So there's just a very, very light material and you're just gonna brush it over the top, which is creating a highlight, which is a really cool trick. So there's the highlight. So now what you're gonna do is kind of the same technique, which you're gonna do a wash of color underneath the scar itself, just to create some age. So just with a brush with just a little bit of material on it, you're gonna shade underneath the scar itself and just use your finger just to blend it out. It doesn't have to be super fancy. It should be fun. Just add the material in. And now that I'm looking at it, it looks like it needs just a little more on top. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're never gonna draw a straight line of anything. You're gonna wanna pick your spots and blend it. What I mean by that is I'm not gonna just go over the whole top of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little here, blend it, maybe a little here, blend it, maybe a little on the outside here, and then blend it. So you're creating a lifted scar. And there's your scar. Thanks for watching and click on any of the links above for other zombie related videos. And feel free to send any requests to request at mahalo.com.